Every 12 minutes, someone in Canada experiences sudden cardiac arrest. I ran the track for about half an hour and uh, worked up a pretty good sweat. Instead of a cool down period, I just went straight to the back and sat down. And uh, I remember looking out over the track watching some of the other activities and that was the last thing I remember. Uh, my friends told me that I was blue in, in the face and um, my teachers and my uh, principals um, did the best to save my life. I play in a uh, double squash league. About three minutes after I finished playing, uh, I started to feel faint. That was kind of the last memory I had. Every one minute delay in defibrillation lowers the chance of survival for a victim of sudden cardiac arrest by 10%. And a team of four people with the Mikey defibrillator came running to my aid. I think during my fourth or fifth round of CPR, the firefighters showed up and they took over from that point. One of the firefighters that was on the call is a good friend of mine and he said within like another two minutes of us finding him, we wouldn't have saved him. I guess it was pretty lucky and I'm, and I'm pretty thankful that it just happened in a place that, it, that had ADDs. Mikeys are placed in public areas by the Mikey Network to provide people affected by sudden cardiac arrest with a second chance at life. Steve DeBoer is general manager of the moving company Two Men and a Truck, now outfitted with a defibrillator donated by the charity, the Mikey Network. Thousands of people for sure that now have the opportunity, if the case ever does arise, that we'd be able to be the first responders. Hugh Heron is chairman of the Mikey Network and the Heron Group of Companies owns the rights to Two Men and a Truck. Heron says his goal is to outfit more trucking companies with life-saving defibrillators. Wouldn't it be a marvelous world? If you have a heart problem and you're in trouble and you see any type of truck being there and you stop them and they help you. The two men trucks that are on the road constantly serving the community will be available in the uh, event that someone happens to have sudden cardiac arrest. The win here is for the Mikey Network and the other win is having two men in a truck Canada come on board as partners with us in our defibrillator program. It just felt good to go back to school and see my friends because it's been it was a long three weeks in the hospital so I'm, gl I'm glad that the Mikey helped save my life. To see him fully healthy you know walking handsome as he is through the hallways I was just thrilled. So having that Mikey on site on Daniel within the first minute 30 seconds that we had it on him I believe you believe that saved his life. Well, without uh, having the defibrillator, the Mikey defibrillator here, and without having the team members trained to use it properly, um, I wouldn't be here today. Mikeys are placed in areas of public access on an ongoing basis, and the timely use of Mikeys steadily continues to save lives in Canada. Two men in a truck franchisees have taken a leadership role and added significant momentum to the Mikey On Board program by training their employees and placing Mikey defibrillators in their trucks.